Don't burn your mouth. You have three more days of eating. <laughs> Stunning beaches, rich cultural history, and a lively, welcoming atmosphere. These are some of the trademarks of Puerto Rico. <sighs> Super hydrated. Got electrolytes coursing through my veins right now. Like many places, the best parts of Puerto Rico are reflected in its vibrant food scene. Some of the tastiest bites can be found along the coast, where fresh, local ingredients are transformed into crispy, crunchy, delicious street food with indigenous Taino, African, and European influences. Dishes like alcaporias, empanadillas, and bacalaitos. So That's a tasty bacalaito. Guiding me on my journey is my friend Mima Benitez, a local food enthusiast with a packed Rolodex of all the best spots on the island. How would you describe Puerto Rican food to an outsider? I think it's very expressive and it's very flavorful. And uh, I think it's reflected on the cuisine, I think. The first stop on our trip, family-owned Kiosco El Bariqua in the coastal area of Piñones, about 10 miles outside of San Juan. Piñones is an incredible place, reflecting the island's vibrant Afro-Caribbean culture and cuisine. More fresh than this, you can get it. On one side of the narrow main road, the beach. On the other, countless bars, restaurants, and chinchorros. Open air fry shacks offering a wide variety of traditional Puerto Rican delicacies. These beachside hangouts are widely known for their convenient and casual vibe. It's a good choice, good stop here, you know? El Bariqua is famous for their alcaporias, fritters made from a dough of green plantains and root vegetables that have been filled with a savory mixture of either seafood or meat. So let's try this land crab. That's a really unique flavor on the crab, but this is very tender. Some chinchorros shape the dough and filling in either a sea grape leaf or a banana leaf and then fry them over an open flame. This meat you can find in other dishes. Yeah, it's like a picadillo, right? Exactly, it's like a picadillo. But the lanka is more authentic. Yeah, more unique to the area. That's good though. And then there are the ever popular street snacks, bacalaitos, a mixture of salted codfish or bacalao mixed with flour and seasonings and fried until golden and crisp. Think fried dough, but a crunchier, more savory seafood version. I love the crunchy outside. They put crushed garlic also, and this is the recaudo. This one of my favorites. Kiosco El Bariqua was a delicious introduction to Puerto Rican cuisine, and we still had a lot of eating ahead of us. The next day, we decided to check out Kiosco La Comay, one of the oldest chinchorros in Piñones. Like Kiosco El Bariqua, La Comay is family owned and it's 50 feet from the beach. ¿Hace cuánto tiene este negocio? The owner, Rafael, likes to be around people, so he manages the front of the house. His wife, Luz, is the mastermind and cook behind all of La Comay's legendary recipes, and we shamelessly ordered half the menu. We started out slow, with alcaporias filled with both land crab and beef, as well as Luz's fan-favorite bacalaitos. La Comay's alcaporias are also shaped in a sea grape leaf before frying, but they make their dough with a mixture of yuca, yautia, and a pinch of green banana. Light and crispy with a little bit of chew. I'm glad we ate light for round one, because we had a lot more food on the way. What do you think is the best thing on the menu? Me gusta de todo, pero el arroz con huella y el, el carrucho. So that's what we ordered. Bland crab rice and beans with a big wedge of avocado, conch salad, arepas, tostones, and a pionono, a fried plantain wrapped around a savory filling of stewed meat. First of all, the mm. rice is perfectly cooked. The crab itself, though. So tasty, it is. How the crab is stewed in that mm. sauce. I'm so impressed by the, the simple red beans. Like when people do them well, they're just really phenomenal. Conch salad. This is conch, carrucho. And you top it with the carrucho okay. or the tostón, the same. Mm. The conch, I know it can be really tough, but this is super, this is very soft. super tender. We could totally live off that. The original pionono is like a strip of the ripe plantain fried, and they mash the plantain because it's easier to the volume they handle here and stuff with um, the stewed meat. And I love the, um, the beef is super savory, but against the sweetness of the Maduro, it's really nice. Yeah. Wow. Definitely special. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> For our last stop, we headed about 50 miles west to Puerto Pesca, a restaurant in the quaint beach town of Barceloneta. 
Located right on a black sand beach, Puerto Pesca is owned by Daniel Reyes, a passionate cook who comes from a long line of local fishermen. In true Puerto Rican fashion, he welcomed us with a feast of house specialties. Daniel, thank you so much for having us at Puerto Pesca. Can you tell us a little bit about what the, the menu is, what the specialty of the house claro. is? and whatever else we have here on the, on the table. Eh, aquí tenemos, ¿verdad? Eh, las empanadillas de pescado, son de, de dorado, son fritas, hechas todas aquí en la casa. So this is uh, the mahi mahi that's caught locally then? Sí, sí. Mm. The dough is so light, what do you mix to cook the fish with? Salsa, eh, sofrito que es del país, ¿verdad? Recao, cilantro, cebolla, eso se muele. Ajo también. Ajo, sal. Yeah. All the local farmers, they bring all those ingredients for the sofrito and they process all those vegetables here. Tenemos las alcapurrias de guineo, guineo verde, que son fritas, son hechas aquí. Eh, tienen cangrejo, unas tienen cangrejo y otras tienen carne molida, carne de res. Que eh, eh, ese es de juey de acá local. Cangrejo local lo, lo cogen aquí cerca de los pescadores. And so you said that the alcapurrias are made of green bananas? This, uh, only green banana, one salt, this everything. They cook it slowly for the inside to cook properly, and then you want to golden on the outside. Yeah, these are also like fatter. They seem like they have more filling than some of the other ones I've seen in piñones. Y acá como tal, pues, lo típico es que queden más grandes, más, más gruesa. Tear some of this open. That's, um, that's some of the best. Do you, are they hard to make? Do you make them in your hand or? Yeah. Really? Compared to the other acupurias I've had, this is the dough is much lighter and more tender. Un domingo se hacen. How many? 400 alcapurias. Whoa! Really? Last but certainly not least, the arroz con hueys, rice cooked with fresh land crab, which permeates every grain with that delicious crab flavor. I didn't realize like land crab is such a big part of the culture and the cuisine. That's fantastic, man. I love it. I'm a very talented cook. <laughs> Daniel was an amazing host, and his menu was a true testament to the Puerto Rican way of using the freshest, most readily available local ingredients to create outstanding traditional fare. To say I was blown away by the food and the people of Puerto Rico's coastal communities would be an understatement. Everywhere we went, fantastic fried bites and fresh seafood dishes were made with pride by tight-knit, family-run kitchens with unbelievably fresh, locally sourced ingredients. It truly is some of the best cuisine and hospitality you'll find anywhere in the world. I am super in love with my new friend, Puerto Rico. Thank you so much to Mima Benitez for hosting me this week and showing me the best of what the island has to offer. If you've been to Puerto Rico and you feel like I missed something during my stay, throw it in the comment section down below. And don't threaten me with a good time because I will be back. For more stories from the road, go to cookscountry.com. That's a www. On the road!